also check it out guys we are back with today's second episode now in the previous video I saw a comment saying that the audio on my videos wasn't that great in the previous episode guys so can you please let me know down below if the audio is good or not testing testing let me know down below guys does it sound okay all right so I made a subscriber clan it's gonna be opening one hour after this video goes live guys exactly one hour after this episode goes live the clan will be open I'm gonna leave the clan hashtag at the pinned comment down below in that comment section So make sure you take a look if we do want to join my clan guys We have got ourselves the brand new level 65 Autumn Queen skin guys and to celebrate the release and the unlock of this new Autumn Queen We are about to do something ludicrous and crazy here in this episode If you take a look at my army We have got at least one of every single troop from Barbarian all the way down to the Ice Golem guys What we're gonna be doing it is gonna be an Autumn Queen attack strategy like you have never seen before We are gonna be taking on the top player Inside of Clan War League live right now here in this episode We are about to get ourselves into a live attack guys And we're gonna see if we can triple star this dude now to make this episode as fun as possible This is what the base looks like guys I'm gonna ask all of you my beautiful subscribers to go down below and take a guess in that comment section How much percent damage are we gonna do to this base using every single troop in the game? There is not a single troop we've mixed out. We've missed out. I have grabbed myself four healers, so we've got a couple of extra healers. We've got two minions, and I think we've got two baby dragons. Then the rest of the troops all have one, guys. We've got an ice golem and a and a pecker in the CC with a rage spell, and we've got a war wreck here. And the heroes are locked and loaded. So we're about to do this. Wish me luck. Hashtag good luck, Tony. Let's do this, guys. Drop a like on the video. If you do want to see two COC videos every single day on the YouTube channel and let's get ourselves Into this attack. Okay, so plan of action. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna take this base down guys? Well, what I plan to do is I'm gonna use a single baby dragon to clear these buildings at the top right I'm gonna drop in my queen with the four healers at the top the three infernos are down towards the bottom then I'm gonna use my Probably my second baby dragon over here to clear these buildings guys And I'm gonna send in the golem the ice golem all the ground troops right here with a war here And we're gonna make our way into the core We've got two free spells one heal spell four rage spells and a poison spell guys So fingers crossed we can actually triple star this pace. I'm super excited. Let's get going here we go I'm actually getting really nervous guys as soon as I click that attack button. I do get a little bit scared Hopefully no one is spectating because I don't want to mess this up, but um, I've got a great feeling about this I reckon we can honestly okay. There's a spectator that ain't good guys. That is certainly not good, but Nothing we can do about it now. Let's get the Queen in I'm gonna get the healers in and I'm gonna use one balloon just to test for air mines or air bombs guys. Hopefully we can trigger one. Yep. There we go air bomb. That's cool That is cool for me. I'm gonna drop the rage spell in nice and early and we are gonna start now with the golem The ice golem. I'm gonna use the pekka the giant the wall breaker the wizard and of course We are gonna get the witch in war wrecker king grand warden and the queen is gonna round the other side Okay, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful now guys. I'm gonna drop in the majority of my other troops I'm gonna drop in a free spell Poison Rage and we're gonna drop in that heal spell. We need the war record to get a little bit further. We've got it guys I'm gonna freeze the dragons in the center Rage up towards the bottom and we're gonna see what happens as everything starts to try at least to go into the core guys I'm gonna have to put the Queen's ability the funnel hasn't really been that great guys. I don't know what's going on We're gonna go with another rage spell. What have I got left alive? Wow, I've got a king And I've got the rest of the troops which aren't really doing much. I'm gonna put the king's ability He's gonna try and break through that wall. He gets through gonna put the grand warden's ability to save my poor king But it looks like we're not gonna be clutching 
a higher attack, guys. That sucks so bad. I thought we were going to be able to triple star this base, but it looks like it's not going to come to fruition. And we're going to end up walking away with a really terrible one star. Okay. That ain't too good, guys. We're going to have to give this a second go. We're going to give it a second go. Obviously, the Autumn Queen got absolutely destroyed as she went around the edge of the base, guys. We've got an Electro Dragon left alive. Going to do a little bit of splash damage. Doesn't quite manage to take out the rest of the base, guys. But we're not going to give up here. For some reason, the raid hasn't even ended. I've got an archer, a lonely little archer, on the edge of the base. She's about to get splatted. There she goes. Let's try it again. Let's try it for a second time. Okay, so we are going to try this again, guys. I honestly thought we were going to get a triple star against that base. But um, the good thing is we did three star using our Captain Tony attack and... I don't think they even have a chance of beating us this war, guys, because our bases are a lot stronger than theirs. Usually, I only ever do troll attacks if we can guarantee ourselves a victory, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to train up that army again. I want a second shot at this. We're going to need to go in and grab some gems. I'm going to grab a pile of gems. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and gem up the army. Okay, so troops, 60 gems. Well, 44. Damn, that is expensive, guys. So, uh, another 40. Wow, this just cost us, like, $2 to gem the army. But that's cool. That's cool, guys. It's all for the fun here on YouTube. Where is the king? There he is. And we are ready for our second attempt. Unfortunately, we actually fell out of the Legends League. We're only about 130 trophies below, guys. So... I reckon we can be back in the Legends League in the next 20 minutes, but um, we're going to find ourselves an opponent. We're going to take it on. I actually want to take on a max level base because I want to see what type of damage this strategy can actually do if the Queen gets into the center. If I can get the Queen into the core like I really wanted her to, we've got a better shot, guys, at taking down a base like this. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. Here we go. This looks like it is going to be a very decent base. Town Hall in the center. Max level heroes, guys. Let's give it our best shot, but maybe utilize a different strategy this time. And I'm going to try something completely different. What I've noticed is this Inferno Tower, I reckon I can clip with my Archer Queen. I'm going to start by using an Electro Dragon over here on its own. And I might rage it up, but not yet, guys. Actually, no, that's a change of plan. I am going to rage it up. I'm going to get the queen in at the bottom. Level 65 Autumn Queen, guys. Let's see what we can do this time using what I hope is going to be an OP strategy, guys. Almost dropped the air defense. We almost clocked it. So, check it out. The queen's going to go in. I do want her to kill the Inferno Tower. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to rage up my queen. She's actually not going to go for the Inferno, so let's freeze it. And uh, she should make her way around the edge instead and avoid the Infernos altogether. Now we're going to get the War Wrecker in. We're going to lose one or two healers, but that's cool, guys. And we're going to go with the Golem, the Ice Golem, the King, the Grand Warden, the Witch. And I am going to use a Wizard. Oh, damn, we just lost our healers, guys. That sucks. Okay, doesn't matter anyway. Let's try this. Is it going to work? Let's see what happens, guys. Here we go. I've basically got the entire army going through the center of the base, but we've still got some more troops to drop down. Everything is now in. I've got the Grand Warden's ability. I've got a free spell left, and I've got the Queen's ability, which we're going to pop. Check it out, guys. We're on the town hall. We got ourselves a second star, but we didn't really do too much damage once again. Let's use the King's ability this time. Obviously, the funnels haven't been the greatest, guys, and uh, I would say those have been the major problems in terms of triple-starring these bases, but you've got to remember, this is all for fun, guys. The Autumn Queen doesn't make a difference to the power, it's just a skin, so um, it's definitely a fun strategy to try. Maybe we shouldn't have done it inside of war, but you know what? It doesn't matter, honestly. Two-star, 70-plus percent. I'll take that, guys. And that's going to get us six more trophies, taking us to a total of just under 4,900. So we're almost back in the Legends League. 
Now, as I said at the start of the video, guys, one hour after this episode goes live, I will be opening my new subscriber clan on General Tiny. Um, I'm going to leave a pinned comment with the clan hashtag. It will be going live. It will be opening, sorry, exactly one hour after this episode goes live. So make sure you come and join. Good luck. If you don't get in, don't worry. Bookmark the clan and um, hopefully you'll get in over the next couple of days. For now, my friends, I'll see you shortly for the next episode. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are around the world. Take care. Peace out.